Welcome back everybody, today we'll be reviewing Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire mini game. They are a remake of a previous game that a lot of people love. Oh, yeah, I also moved my room around so yeah, it's going to look different. Okay, so Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. So the evil, the evil teams are different in them games. If you get Omega Ruby, you're going to deal with Team Magma. If you get Alpha Sapphire, you're going to deal with Team Aqua. I'm not sure which one's easier. I guess you can... Well, I've never faced Team Aqua. I don't know what they use. I only faced Team Magma. Now, the Team Magma admins do use fire types, but I'm pretty sure the grunts use dark types. So, you know, Team Magma has the toad grunts, type the core in, Magsy is the boss. Then for Team Aqua, you got, I think his name's Matt. Matt. I forgot the, I forgot the girl's name on that team, and there's... Archie as boss. How can I not remember her name? Anyway. <clears throat> so, there are gems in this game. Thank goodness. And the gem layers got a redesign, such as I think they look better. To me, I think they look better. Now, the first gem isn't that bad. It's just a rock top gem. It, You'd be pretty much good if you get a water or a grass top starter. If you get a fire top starter, you might struggle a bit unless you got a teammate that can help you out. <clears throat> now, however, the, getting to the second gym, I got stuck for a year. Yes, a year I got stuck trying to get to the second gym. I did not know it was on an island because I never played the original. I only played Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I never played Ruby and Sapphire. I didn't play the original, so I did not know what to do. I had to look it up. I think I think you had to find this guy. Of what I remember, you had to find some guy to take you on to the island that Brawly was at. Brawly uses fighting types. So, but pretty much the starters don't have any weaknesses or f powerful against it. It's just like equal. Yeah, it's just equal on that one. But then getting to the third gym, the third gym where he wants it and he uses electric top. <clears throat> now, now if someone chose the water top starter, that's where the downfall will come. Because Water's weak to grass and hot. Grass and electric. Oh, it's getting crossed. <sighs> okay. I actually thought he was the hardest because I think he almost beat me, but then I ended up like, moving before he did and uh, killed him or killed his Pokemon. He was probably the hardest out of all of them. Now we got the fourth gym layer. It's Flannery. She uses fire tops. Okay, this is where water gets another advantage. Grass gets a disadvantage. It's pretty equal for fire. If there is a duo type I'm missing out, please tell me. Because I really can't remember the starters. Like, usually when the starter is like a baby form, it's like one type. But then when, it, when some of them evolve, they get duo types. It, Confuses me out. You know, pretty much. Yeah. Then there's the fifth gym, where uh, is such as the player's dad. He uses normal type. He was pretty hard too, but I think Watson was harder because the paralyzing. I just got irritating. But Norman could be pretty annoying with the the high power in his attacks. I, I thought I thought his gym was pretty fun too. Like you gonna like pick the right door or something. You gonna like pick the doors, pick the right one, and face a certain amount of trainers. 
Then there's the six gym layer, probably my least favorite because this gym layer has no personality at all. It's when Nona was flying time. It's, it's like when I faced her, I think she was the easiest. I think when I played Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I picked, um, yeah, I picked, uh, Torchic. I picked Torchic. Yeah, that, that gym was pretty much easy because it was so forgettable and all that. Who would literally remember that gym? Or even the person? That is pretty bad. Then there's the seventh gym where it's just, that is such as a duo gym. They use physic types. And well, yeah, it's pretty equal at this point. I forgot to mention that like, grass is weak to flying. So the grass type starter has an a disadvantage in the sixth gym, but in the seventh gym, for all the for all the starter types, it stays pretty equal. <coughs> that 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 was probably pretty close to easy in the Winona, but it's probably the second easiest. Titan Liza, for some reason, only have one Pokemon. The game could have at least gave them another one. You know, like, they used the Saw Rock and the whatever the Moon one of the names. I cannot remember anything today. You know, I think Saw Rock's part rock type out, so it gives water an advantage, like, right there. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the moon. I'm not sure what its other duo type is, unless it's just plain physic. Now there's the eighth gym. That is, depending on what game you got. In Omega Ruby, you face walls, but if you get Alpha Sapphire, you gotta deal with Dwan. I I faced Wallace, That gym puzzle made me rage. I hated the gym puzzle. It was so difficult, so complicated. I literally went like crazy just over it. <laughs> My goodness, that's it's not the hardest gym puzzle, but it's not it's not a hard gym puzzle, but it's probably one of the hardest. And then there's the Elite Foreign Champion. I never went to the Pokemon League yet because I don't feel like it. <clears throat> I just like facing gym wars. I think the rival May is pretty good. Or Brandon, depending on what gender you pick. I think they build up a pretty good team. The rival does. But Wally, however, I don't I don't care too much about Wally. Because like every time we battled he like lost so badly. I, I feel like I felt so bad for him. But I think Wally does make a return at the Battle Train Pokemon Sun. Yeah. So that's it for this review. Time to grade this game. Pokemon Omega Ruby. There's nothing there's nothing I really hate about it except for two of the gems. The only things I hate about this game are the sixth and the seventh gem because of how easy they were. And the eighth gym's gym puzzle, but but they do try to be a little difficult. I'm gonna give Pokemon Omega Ruby an eight out of ten. It's a pretty good game. That's it for this review. The next game will be Pokemon X and Y. Next.